Hello and welcome to a REDCap training topic session. This is Patrick from REDCap for VCU. Today's topics we'll be covering will be the quick task, codebook, and the project dashboard. Okay, and let's go into our REDCap project. All right, when we click on our project, we'll be led into the project setup screen. To access our quick task, we will go to project home. Now, why would we use project quick tasks? Well, Project Quick Test is a way for us to quickly access uh, main functions or main tasks in the REDCap project uh, instead of going on a scavenger hunt to try to find them all. And Quick Test has a small little feature called the code book to quickly get a human readable read-only version project view of the data dictionary and is also a quick reference for viewing field attributes and making edits or quick edits in general. Let's go ahead and cover the quick task first before we get to the code book. And for more in-depth videos on these task topics, click on the link annotation below. And the quick tasks that we have are manage server participants, which will also be located in data collection, exporting data, which is located under applications, creating a report, which will also be located under applications, data exports, reports, creating reports, okay, and Check-in data quality will also be located in applications. User rights, which will be located in applications along with data access groups. And the online designer. And this is a alternate way to get to the online designer instead of going to your project setup screen and into online designer. Or in the other hand, if you're in your uh, production mode, it'll be located at the bottom of your page. Okay. And the other function is copying the project, which will be located in other functionality. Copy the project. And moving away from quick tasks for a bit, let's go into our project dashboard. And tables below provide a general dashboard information, such as list of all users with access to the project, general project stats, and upcoming calendar events. And the upcoming calendar events can be from your scheduling module, which is enabled in the longitudinal model, which can be located in project setup, enable longitudinal data, and enable scheduling module. On the other hand, let's go back to project home. On the other hand, you can schedule the calendar events yourself without using the scheduling module by going to Calendar under Applications and simply clicking New. And you can also choose the specific record ID if it is already populated. If certain events need to be added for that particular uh, participant or uh, patient. Let's go ahead and close this. Go back to our project home. You can also view the current users for your project and when their expiration is. Also, we have project stats for our project, how many records are in the project, the most recent activity, space usage for the documents, the project status. Okay, with that being said, and one more task to cover would be the quick link in quick tasks, under quick tasks. Whenever we're um, uploading any or downloading any um, dictionary data, we can always go into Online Designer and do the da data dictionary upload, or we can simply go to Project Home's Quick Test to download the current data dictionary. That's very useful when you're creating a good amount of new fields and questions, uh, a good amount of your time. You can quickly access it in Quick Test. And just one click would get you the data dictionary upload or the data dictionary download. Okay, let's move on to the code book. And basically the data dictionary code book is an alternate to using the data dictionary itself in under uh, the online designer data dictionary download. And this is especially useful because it's uh, much easier on the eyes and it's a good alternate than to look at the data dictionary and it's 
gets more useful when you have more instruments for your project, as you can quickly check for branching logic and variable names. If you happen to know your field label, you can always hit Control and F to search for your um, particular name. And to check for your branching logic, we can go ahead and click on the branching logic icon. Or making edits will be just the pencil icon. It will bring us straight to the page. For example, I would like to edit branching for other. This will only show the field only if this is correct. Equals a 1. Choice 99 equals a 1. And it will bring me straight to the page. Or on the other hand, clicking the pencil will get us to the edit field. Finally, we have field labels and field attributes, which shows us the field type, validation, choices, calculations. If you prefer looking at the code book, this would be a lot more, it would be a lot helpful and less stressful to the eyes, I guess, than looking at the Excel data dictionary. And this pretty much covers it for the topic on quick tasks, code book, and the project dashboard. Feel free to request any additional topics in the link below, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining, and have a good day.